As the month of March ends, Chatham County has seen three more homicides before the end of the month because Chatham County Police Department says it has charged a 36-year-old Mark Anthony Lee with the murder of a 53-year-old Ralph Wilmot. Wilmot died on March the 19th of this year from injuries sustained from a February 19th, 2021 incident. So he actually died a month later after being attacked on March the 19th. What they say what happened was that Mr. Mark Anthony Lee had attacked Mr. Wilmot so bad that, you know, he beat him unconscious in a coma and Buddy could just never wake up from that incident. So on February the 19th, officers were dispatched to an address on the 100 block of Map Maker Cove. When they arrived, they found Wilmot suffering from serious injuries and one female suffering from non-life-threatening injuries. A third person, 36-year-old Mark Anthony Lee, was arrested at the scene. At the time, he was charged with two counts of aggravated battery and one misdemeanor count of third-degree cruelty to children. The cruelty to children charge was stemmed from the fact that children were present when the incident occurred. Now, the detectives say that all of the parties knew each other and this was no random incident. So I had to put that homicide in there, you know, even though he died a month later. Now, March the 22nd was the deadliest day of this year so far because the Savannah Police Department responded to a shooting. According to the Savannah Police Department, the first shooting took place on Archer and Worth Streets at around 11.30 p.m. When officers arrived at the scene, they found a young woman suffering from life-threatening injuries. She was taken to Memorial Hospital where she later died. Now, she was later identified as a 21-year-old woman by the name of Tamia Green. Now get this, it was actually reported that she was attempting to intervene in the altercation between two neighbors when she was injured by the shooting, according to police. So she really didn't have shit to do with none of what was taking place. She just wanted to be a good Samaritan, a good neighbor, and just wanted to calm the situation down because hey, if you don't have good neighbors, then what is your community? But this is a sad case of wrong place, wrong time. And I, I and it's kind of hard to say wrong place, wrong time because she, she lived there. She lived in that area where the neighbors were fighting. So it's kind of hard to say wrong place, wrong time, you know? And it, it sucks that you can't get neighbors to stop beefing with each other to the point where they got to resolve it with a gun. But that wasn't the only shooting that happened on March the 22nd. The second call came just 15 minutes later. Now, officers responded to the 8,500 block of Waters Avenue near Live Oak Apartments where they found a man had been shot. Leron Pace, who age was 29, was taken to the hospital where he later died. The shooting was being investigated as a domestic-related situation. During the course of the investigation, detectives identified Jonathan Johnson, who age was 29, as a suspect in the fatal shooting of Pace. Now, Johnson turned himself in to Savannah Police Headquarters on Wednesday, according to the Savannah Police Department. He was charged with murder and transported to the Champ County Detention Center. So, yeah, I mean, Live Oak Apartments, for you guys that don't know, that's like on Waters and Montgomery Crossroads. So, that area on Waters itself, I mean, it's a lot of like just open drug activity like a lot of people just standing outside and you know these apartments you know just people standing outside you know back like 10 12 maybe even 15 years ago like that place out there was like really hot like harder than what it was what it is now you know so this is just a type of area where you just see a lot of um degenerate behavior you know like people pants sagging down to the to the ground I mean, you got people just outside just smoking dope in the open, you know, so imagine trying to live in an area like this, but uh, that's all the news that I have for today. Any other updates about any other homicides that I talk about in this video, I'll let y'all know as well and keep y'all up to date. Take care of yourself and stay blessed.